How you doing, me muckers? And welcome back to the Midweek Mumble. I hope everybody's okay. I'm alive. There you go. Yeah, sorry. There's a really bad delay there. So, um, how you all doing? I hope you're all okay. So, as usual, we're going to start off with a few a few things first. So, as the, the title says underneath, this is a over 18 channel. There is going to be swearing. So, if you're under the age of 18, if you can click off, please, that would be fantastic. If you're over the age of 18 or you're sitting with somebody who don't like swearing or the profanities and stuff like that, put some headphones on. Don't leave. <laughs> put some headphones on. And thirdly, if you can hear somebody snoring, it ain't none of the panel. It's me dog. He's had a 20-minute walk and he'll be absolutely knackered as he's a bulldog. So, let's kick this off and let's start uh, the midweek mumble. So, let's bring in my first guest, who is... Stuart, how you doing, okay? You're right. I'm, I'm fine, pal. How are you? All good, all good, mate. All good. And then we've got Stevie Mimoka. You You're right. I'm doing very well, my friend. Not too bad. A bit tired oh, today. Yeah. I'm one of the, I was going to have a little kip before we started this, and I thought, no, that's going to make it worse. Yeah. So <laughs> I might need a bit of a slap around, get me yeah. going. And then he's got his own intro now. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Beyonce with his new Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good to see you, lads, and uh, nice to meet you for the first time, Stuart. Um, yeah, nice uh, to meet you too, Paul. Great, great to be here. Good, good, good. So, is oh, everybody? Hopefully, is, uh... hopefully, this time I won't have to leave because I can't understand what's going on. Um, so can, right. can, I just, can I just tell anybody out there who's listening? Elon Musk's Wi Fi is the best thing that I've ever had in this house. <laughs> I've had it for two weeks and I got it on the strength of my last uh, live stream with the Peaky Biker when I had to leave the one with um, Teapot One on. And I just couldn't understand what was going on at all. No, that might not have been the Wi-Fi. It could, it could have been my small grey matter as well. But anyway, I'm I'm here again to give it another go. And so far, so good. I haven't dropped out. We haven't broken up yet. No, it's very, very crisp. Very it crisp. Is, yeah, it is. I must very say. crisp. Go, so, good. Uh, now, 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 let me tell you, if this breaks up tonight, I'm going to bring that bastard Musk down. I'm going to collapse his, <laughs> I'm gonna collapse his empire. <laughs> the about the, now, that you've, now that you've got his Wi-Fi, he knows what colour underpants you've got on. <laughs> yeah. well, have, you seen, have you seen those brain implants he's, he's yeah. doing? I yep, didn't even yeah. know if that was an April Fool's joke, like an no, early no. April Fool's joke. No, it's been, they've been testing it in pigs. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, like, you know, in a, in a few years' time, we won't be doing any live streams because we'll all know what each other thinks. And yeah. I, I, and I'll be, I, I'll be, I'll be thinking, geez, yes, yeah, Steve the Exeter Rider has just got a new bike in for a review because I know that because I'm the Elon Musk chip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but, uh, but how is everybody? I've, so, Dave, you had a bit of sunshine, don't you? <laughs> I've had sunshine for a week here in Ireland, and so, uh, it, what you been up to? it's long. It's long overdue. Um, well, of course, as soon as the sun comes out, I get really busy at work. That's normally the way, isn't it? Um, so <laughs> no, no. Um, fortunately, I uh, I banked a few videos over the Christmas break here. Otherwise, the channel, the YouTube channel, would have went off the air. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, so um, so no, I banked a few, and then literally getting an hour a day for the last few weeks of sunshine. Just making the most of it, heading out on that. Um, so, uh, so yeah, for, for the last week, uh, it's it's just been brilliant. I've made about three or four videos in a week, which is the most I've ever done. Um, so I'm I'm sorted now for April, and then I'm heading away next week. Um, actually, I'm heading off to do the uh, Northumberland 250 ride uh, next week. I don't mm. know if you lads have done that yet. No, no. Have you not. heard of it even? I've I've never no. I've not even heard no. of that. Um, it, uh, I mean, obviously, it's my old stomping ground. It's where I'm from. So I can't wait to go over and do it. I was going to be doing it with uh, Andy, the Missenden Flyer, but the poor bugger is having serious problems with his shoulder still, a uh, recurring injury. Um, so um, and we were going to we were going to do it on our old GSs, our 1200 GSs, two old boys on two old GSs and see how you like that. Uh, you know, <laughs> and, and it's been in the plan and, uh, for the last um, two months. Um, 
And then Andy, about three weeks ago, said, listen, he said, uh, the shoulder isn't getting better. I'm going to have to bow out of this. So at the same time, uh, I mean, this is brilliant. So every cloud has a silver lining, so to say. But at the same time, uh, now I've talked about him quite a few times on this channel. Trevor Harrington is his name. He was my first proper subscriber. He's from Scotland. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, other than my family, when I started the YouTube channel, um, he was my first subscriber. So we've become mates since. Uh, we did yeah. the Causeway Coastal route last year around Northern Ireland. He then came over for me, big ride out last summer and everything. And uh, and we're in touch a lot. So at the same time, the missing and flyer said he couldn't do it. Trev contacted me and said, come here. He said, uh, weather's starting to look nice. Have you any ride outs you're doing? Maybe he's over here. And I said, aha. Funny you I should do. that. Uh, what I you're do. doing in Brilliant. a few weeks' time. What, so, what, so, what diet so, is that then? What diet is uh, that? Because if you're mild for I might see if we can uh, hook up. Well, that'd be brilliant. We, we head next Monday. Um, so, so I'm getting the ferry next Monday. I'm staying in Trev's house up south of Glasgow on the Monday night, and then on the Tuesday we're heading over to do um, the Northumberland 250. Now, it's it's a fairly short route. Well, obviously the clues in the name. It's 250 mile, um, but uh, we're spending three days at it. Perfect. Obviously, because I'll be making a few videos and uh, and very exciting actually. Um, the last time we did the, the trip, which was uh, the Causeway Coastal Route uh, last year around the, the Antrim coastline, which was incredible. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but, but Trev was a little bit camera shy. He didn't know, you know, how he was going to be with cameras and everything. So uh, there's no way I was going to force anybody to go on camera. So I pretty much did it, even though <laughs> at some stages it might look a bit odd because there was a motorbike tracking me along this, uh, the side of me or behind me for the entire route. Yeah, uh, and, uh, stalking you. But, but Trev didn't, he wasn't too keen about being on camera. But he's just been out and bought the DJI Osmo Action 4, the new microphone. Yes. Uh, the whole yes, lot. So he's all equipped. I'll set it up for him on Monday night when we get to his. Uh, and then uh, it'll be great to have the, the cameras on both bikes working this time around. Yeah. What's I'm, his plan, I'm... Dave? Is he sorry? Is he is he going to be make? Is he got a channel? Is he or no? He hasn't. Well, not yet. But watch this space. I reckon this will be the start of it. Yeah. Uh, but 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 he's an old boy like myself. He's got plenty of stories to tell, uh, and he's a really interesting chap. So I can't wait to get him on camera. Yeah. Is that why you went to record? Yeah, <laughs> I had my haircut to come on here tonight. Actually, no, I tell a lie. My barber is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. His name is Steve. Uh, no, I just... <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. I just yeah. no, no. She she's a, a Lithuanian woman, um, and so any excuse to go and see her and get me haircut. Um, uh, but I rem I was uh, funny enough. I was saying this to her name is Gaidra, uh, and I was saying this to Gaidra this this afternoon. I said I remember, you know. Not that long ago, in my mind, but probably 30 years ago, when I used to have long hair, I was into the heavy metal, I used to have long permed hair. When I was, th I, I remember going into the barbers or the hairdressers, you know, and I was able to ask for a style back then. And now yeah. the style has found me, really, <laughs> rather, than, <laughs> rather than the other way around. So yeah. I'm desperately trying to hold on to what I've got. Yeah. So the so the bon, John Bon Jovi looks gone then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I uh, used to have a flat top, but now you can see my flat top. Yeah, because it is literally <laughs> flat up there. No, oh, yeah. I'm going in reverse. I've got rid of the beard, but I'm growing the hair. That's. I was going to say you've got the opposite way around, are you? Yeah, I know. It's like, and that's coming off as well. I'm shaving that at the weekend. So no way, no way. So I've just just. Quickly, because before we come on here, we were just talking about bikes, and I've actually put myself on the mailing list for the um, is it the CRF 450? Have you have you seen that lately? That's just that, that's going to be coming out soon. Beautiful. Um, it 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 looks absolutely fantastic. It's it it's a it's a bit like um, is it the Husqvarna? It's a bit like is it the Husqvarna 901? It it, yeah. it it looks like that, but a little bit smaller. Obviously, a 450, but. Yeah. Uh, well, have you, have, Steve? Have you have you read any books lately that's kind of captured that imagination? Um, I, to be honest, or, you, or you've well, sat. I, I haven't gone, really. Oh, that's that's been good. Yeah, yeah. When you, when you mention the CRF four hundred and fifty, do you mean the three hundred? Because that's a Honda, isn't it? The CRF. No, I, I don't think it's called. Is it the CRF? It's, it won't be the CRF because no, they it's, they stop making like, four hundred and fifty. It's something like the Cove. Cove. See, Summit Moto. Is it oh, CF, CF Moto. Moto. 
The CF, CF Moto, Moto, sorry. That's the one. Yeah. CF Moto. I've got a funny relationship with CF Moto, unfortunately. I had a chance of working for them. Um, not working for them, that's the wrong word, but riding some of their bikes. Um, it was in the early days, and I didn't feel the company was was strong enough at the time for me to sort of ride their bike and say how good it was because everybody was saying it was a good bike. And this is the um, 650 that they made. Mm. Sure enough, um, somebody bought the demo that I could have had for a little while. And uh, it was okay for about a year. And then they had nothing but problems with it. They couldn't get the parts. They were a, a resistor missing um, for about three months. They was off the road waiting for that. Yeah, and it kept going on and on. Then they changed to KCM. So CF Moto are part of KCM now, and um, they honoured the warranty. But by then, he, he just had enough. He, just had he enough. said, "Now nah, he's got a CB five hundred now." So people were raving about the four fifty, and I, I think it is. I'm sure it's going to be a great bike. But with past experience, knowing what I know, when mm. that bike goes wrong, I want to know that they can fix it and get yep. the parts. I mean, yeah. so. one one thing that I would probably say, and that's uh, Volkswagen taking over Skoda, or or Audi, the Audi group taking over Skoda, and you, you everyone knows what Skoda was like. Sk yeah. Skoda now is right up there as a market. Um, the Skoda Superb, I mean, is one probably one of the the best sort of luxury cars out there that you can get. My brother owned one; he owned a VRS as well, which had an Audi TT engine in. Yeah. So they all share parts. So that's what I'm hoping has maybe happened with I'm... TF Moto. Is mm. KTM's doing that part for them? Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know for sure, but that that would be that would be great if that was mm. the case. It it just it just looks absolutely brilliant. It looks like a real a real off a real fifty fifty. A bit like a bit like the nine hundred GS. A real fifty yeah. fifty bike. 50, yeah. You know, fifty off road, fifty on road. It, it's got that whole kind of. Desert, Dakar look, yeah, Dakar front screen kind of look, and on it, it's yeah. proper, proper nice. Really, I nice. think it's a Cove 450. Cove 450 looks fantastic as well, and it's yeah. highly specced. But Cove, we've only just heard of them. Are they going to be able to roll out across the country? Like I've said with my Motor Marini uh, recent video this week, um, fantastic bikes, but you try buying one, they, they, yeah. the dealership is so spread out that it's really difficult to get a hold of. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's not just the bike, is it? It's the brand that you're buying into, and yep. uh, it's all longevity. about backup for me these days. It really <clears throat> is, um, especially after the OGS. Has it been released yet, or did you say it's coming out? No, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's not been released yet. Um, Has there been a price put on it? Um, I think it's, I think it's about six grand. Six yeah, and a half grand. Six it's and a half, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think it was six so, and a half grand. So, so um, on Ireland, it'll probably be about twenty-five then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the thing. It doesn't matter about that though. We're yeah, okay. It's, as long as we've got it cheap, don't matter, does it? Uh, <laughs> but the send, thing, me the, send me the money over. I'll buy it and bring it over to you. <laughs> the the and thing Dave, about. The thing, sorry. sorry. I was going to say the thing about it is as well is like a lot of the big dealers like the likes of Triumph, BMW, and and, and the like is that they'll say that they'll be able to supply you with every part, but what they're doing is is they they all they all bank all their all their uh, parts department, so they've got one big computer system that basically the, the part might be in another dealer, but they they can they'll say that they've got it for you, yeah. and they can mm -hmm. get it within obviously certain things. That that's what I think the smaller manufacturers don't have. They don't have that that network of of dealers that can this dealer can hold that amount of parts that dealer can hold that hold that and as a collective they can say that they all have the parts whereas okay. like the likes of CF Moto don't have that uh, luxury. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, I, I wonder how they're doing as a brand though. I know the the PR is quite something else. Uh, you know they're really pushing out the brand and uh, giving it to a a lot of good influencers as well and uh, but it'll be really interesting I, I i think it's too early to tell but like anything you need to have it for about a year just to see the problems with it rather than yeah, yeah. You, you know the initial introduction to it so it'll be interesting that's when we'll tell and i think it's very much the same with all of the um the electric cars uh, if you like because it's still too early we're still within the first cycle of a battery for an electric car yeah mm -hmm. absolutely and I've heard some horror stories, um, especially with the Porsche, the electric yep. Porsche. Apparently, to replace the battery, um, now, again, this is in Ireland where everything costs a hell of a lot more. 
Um, but to replace the battery in an electric Porsche is 55 grand. Mm. Uh, and but, because of that, you, there's no resale. There's no second-hand resale no. on an electric Porsche because people yeah. are scared stiff. Of course, you I, would be. I had heard that Tesla was 10,000 10, after, and it, it's after 10 years. 10 years you need to replace a battery because what yeah. Tesla do is, is like they'll, they'll offer you 100% of the battery usage from st the start. But it monitors its own cells, and as soon as it sees cells drop out, it shuts them down one by one until you're at a point where you need a battery change, and there's your ten grand. And who's and when, e that? And when Elon Musk starts running out of money, he'll have the software in every Tesla. Uh, he, 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 yeah, um, he's got just, the Wi-Fi built What's he will do? Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, can can you still hear me and see me? This is a fucking miracle. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, but, it's see, the first time it, we have seen you. See the thing about. <laughs> See the thing about it with Elon Musk, Elon Musk was never in it to manufacture cars because like you, you can go on and look at the designs for the Tesla, it's open source, he made every single design, the battery designs, everything, he, what he said, his mantra was, if you can make an electric car better than me, then go for it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What, what I think he wants to make his money on is manufacturing the batteries. He wants yeah. that technology and the battery technology, he wants to get that down. And then he wants to sell that platform onto all the other electric cars. That's that's where he wants to go. He um, has yeah. said openly that he hates running the car business. Yeah, yeah. He says yeah. That, that's the one business he doesn't like is running Tesla. Yeah. Tesla. I think it was about two years. Months. Two years they slept in the factory or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. <laughs> did, one of, did one of Elon Musk sat like your house there, by? <laughs> I've, I've seen the missus in the reflection in the window. He's gone, he's gone mad. So, oh, but but yeah, I mean, I've got an electric car. Hold on. Have you? Yeah, I've got an electric car. So we've got a Skoda. And um, it's 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 fantastic. It's absolutely yeah. brilliant. Do you know what I mean? We've had we've we've got no issues with it, and. Compared to charging that, compared to putting money in on a monthly basis, yeah, it's a you know to charge our car for the motor. Trace, can you just let him out for me, please? To to charge our car for a, like a month's charge. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. It's a part of the show. It's all good. Don't <laughs> worry. Right, I'll, I'll you're like, but, you're but, like but, the Incredible Hulk, there, Brian. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've got the background for it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but yeah, but we've had it. We I got a problem with it, and the amount it cost us per month to the amount it was costing us putting fuel in the car. Yeah, it's about it's about three quarters less a year. Yeah, have you seriously noticed that much of a difference? Wow. Yeah, hundred percent. So, so here's a here's a wee thing for you. Like Glasgow's just rolled out the LEZ, which is the low emission zone. Now. They are champion, championing electric cars and they're championing uh, everyone being more, more ecological when it comes to, to driving. What they've now done underneath the Kingston Bridge, which is the main route through Glasgow, they've, they've put a station of about 20 electric chargers. Now, if you charge your car at home for a full charge, will be about seven and a half pounds. To charge your car using their chargers will be 70 quid. The because they've, they've put the price of the, the kilowatt per hour through Fast the roof. charging. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, you're like, you're defeating the purpose here. You're, these are going to lie empty for you, all you eternity. See, you see, I've got an app on my phone. So if I use a, an external charger, for example, so I'll pay, I can go on. For example, if we're going abroad or we're going on holiday in the car, so I can up my, up, up my, my app to 15 pound a month and then what that does is reduce obviously the charging points when i get to charge them so at, at that point then i'll get a, a discounted rate at whatever charging point i'm going to all right now there's still available free charging points within the uk there's still charging points available so when i go for example if i went to scotland so rather than me just driving to scotland like i would in my car we put it in our sat nav and the car calculates where, when, and how long you need to stop for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for us, we always stop at like Gretna Green kind of area. Do you know what I mean? So that would say, all oh, right, you've got to pull over. There's 18 fast chargers there and you can 
it takes 25 minutes to charge so by the time we've put the car on charge walked in had a brew come back out which we usually do the, the car's charged we've got another 400 mile yeah well that's the thing isn't it but but cars are different because they've got enough room to store the batteries store the power yeah. but bikes are a different ball game you, you haven't got nothing really i mean i've done a bit with zero and i've done a bit of research into their their batteries and they are really good actually there's bikes still going now that are, the batteries are 10 years old and yep. they've gone down to 10 percent of their, their 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 lifespan which is which is pretty good after 10 years yeah, um, yeah. But there, was a, there was a couple of years ago though that the, i think it was uh, i think piaggio i think uh, yamaha i um, can't remember who else it was right. all they all signed an agreement basically saying that they were all going to use the same battery cell and the whole the whole philosophy behind that was you could walk into or ride into a garage and there would be a bank of battery cells just sitting there and it would be yeah. one out one in and you'd be able to ride away now the, the the reason i didn't like that was i didn't want to take a bike straight out of a dealership with a brand new battery in it and the first battery i get is four years old when i put it back in yeah. you know and I, and I never have a new battery and all the the rest of the time that i own the, the bike but that's a small price to pay for you always having a charge on tap just by one in one out but nothing ever seems to have been came of it and no, i haven't well, i can't any. ever see that happening i can't no. ever see it happening because that's a lot of businessmen you know hungry businessmen that have to get along together with yeah, different yeah, brands absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. that's just yeah, unfortunately, I can't see that. You know, you, you know your, at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know yourself, it's like the likes of every engine management system and every bike. They're not going to be able to communicate with each other, let alone yeah. the, the the battery cell itself. So, That's right. um, and in theory, it probably for the the whole green agenda, it sounded absolutely fantastic at the time. But yeah. um, no, it doesn't seem. I, to I, I'm still anything. very pro electric myself. I, th I think there's still a lot to be said for it. Yes. They take a bit to make, and it's not very green making it, but it's not going to happen overnight. It has to no. evolve. But I think people are shooting it down pretty quickly, rightly so, because the prices are absolutely crazy. And they're not getting any better. They're not coming down. It's yeah, getting but, worse. But, but they are. That's the whole point. So my charging point at home. So I'll plug my, my car in overnight, right? So my car, my, the, my charging point knows when the cheapest time is to charge so what it'll do is for example it's between i don't know 12 and 4 for example that's the cheapest time to charge that car so yeah. it'll absolutely hammer that for that four hours and charge it as, as much as it can for the four hours and then at four o'clock when it goes back up to 79 per kilowatt it'll drop off and it will charge it so mm. you can plug it in and, and you, you can do all this off your phone so and you, it's just the technology is there, but it's just at the minute it's not the it's not convenient enough. It is the, the infrastructure is getting there, but I think it's we live in an age now where everything's got to be done yeah. now. Yeah, everything's got to be done yesterday. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, so yeah. now, you know, if you've got to pull over for half an hour, people are like, "Oh, I'm going to pull over for half an hour." But I think. I think this is this is this generation's VHS and Betamax uh, era. Yeah. You know, it's like this will be the battle. Is it, will it be VHS one? Will it be Betamax? A lot, that, of, yeah. a lot of kids are like, what? So mm -hmm. let, let's go for a record and compact disc, if, if that makes more sense, or, or compact disc and MP3 or whatever. Um, yeah. it's, the, it's the same idea. So, um, but that, well, that's... Are you upset, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> Elon Musk. Elon. <laughs> 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 found, found, found out he didn't own a Tesla. There you go. Elon Musk just found oh, out they have, a, they have a Tesla, so he's cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> I need Wi Fi. <laughs> no, do you know what I'm trying to do here? I'm, I might be looking preoccupied. I'm actually trying desperately to find the password from the feckin' Google thing because I'd, lo I'd love to join the chat at the side. I'm looking at the. Um, uh, uh, questions coming in as we're chatting, and I can't respond to anybody because I've forgotten my password. Oh, so right I'm just trying desperately. Uh, like, and I thought it would cut me off there because I've tried so many times to log in. So um, can, can, I you, used... can you not log in through um, through the live or not? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, like I, I had to download um, uh, Google Chrome. I'm on a Mac. And so Safari yeah, does, Safari yeah. doesn't like this um, platform for some reason. So yeah, I had no. to download Google Chrome and literally try and log in everything again. 
Um, so, it, um, but I can't join the chat for some reason. Anyway, not 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 to worry. Um, oh, if any questions come through, I'll try and answer them verbally rather than yeah, <laughs> writing no them worry. down. Yeah, That's which is just as well because I I still type like a a, a ten year old on Christmas morning <laughs> when they got that typewriter back in the nineteen eighties. You know, one finger <laughs> typing. That's with the tongue, with the tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that, that's extra. I charge extra for the tongue. <laughs> that's why he's on his air cuts. The dog, you mean his air? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. But, It'd yeah, be interesting to see what what the bigger brands come out with over the next ten years, and when yeah. Honda say, right, we're going to start doing electric now, because they've had a couple electrics already, but they kind of come in and they didn't sell and yeah. they went again. So. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. So Kawasaki have muted the uh, HEV, which is a hydroelectric. So like, um, uh, so they're looking at hydrogen. So, <clears throat> and that, that that is honestly why I think the Kawasaki H2 was designed with a supercharger, and that was for yeah. the, the hydrogen yeah, yeah. cell. I think that's that yeah. that was the prototype or the benchmark for that. To, to you, prove, you, prove you, prove you that, my words in in the next ten years, the water rights will go through the roof. Oh, and you'll have you'll have water-based cars. Of course you will. Of course you will, because the, the, it's, char it's taxable, chargeable. That's yeah. that's yeah. that's without yeah. goes without. That's why saying. that's why it's slowly going up and going up and going up and going up. The thing up. about that is, just like how how can they stop me in Scotland from catching rain in my garden? I know. Yeah. Did I get plenty of? Don't run in Scotland, does he? Don't run Scotland. Real, real, real. I used to work with a chap a few years ago. I won't mention his uh, name, but he a very, very clever man. And um, he invented a water, a, a, an engine for a car um, which runs on water. And Honda bought the idea of him uh, and paid him a very, very large amount of money. Not enough in my eyes, uh, but they paid him a large amount of money just to shut him down. Mm. Uh, and whether they've kept it to themselves, I don't know. Uh, now, this chap, um, he'd come up with a good few ideas like that. He should have been a gazillionaire a few times over. Yeah. But uh, uh, but I'd say a water engine is definitely on the cards. Um, mm. How would that it, work? How would the... I mean, was that, it's I, not really I, a combustion, well, un, is it? Unfortunately, I'm not clever enough to, de to design one of them, so I don't know how it would work. Um, mm. uh, but... Uh, but I think obviously it's going to happen with what we're talking about the prices of electricity going up. Mm. Um, I mean, they're going to be looking at the next thing already. So from from what mm. I, I, from what I can gather, like um, putting water into a tank and then creating the hydrogen at source. So yeah. basically, you're generating the hydrogen as you need it. So yeah. that that's that's what I would class as a water engine as such. I wouldn't think it would just use water. I think it does a there's a, a reaction that happens with the water that creates the hydrogen that then gets used as a combustible material, as opposed to what was thought before as we would go to a petrol station or a fuel station and fill your car full of hydrogen. That won't be the case. I think it will be water and whatever else is required to produce the hydrogen as the engine needs it. Yeah. I know we said about it before, Stu, but I, I just can't. I struggle to see hydrogen being a thing of the future because of its explosive properties. Yeah, you know, if a hydrogen tank goes off, it bloody blows. Well, that, that's why I'm thinking it's going to get made at source. So, like, there yeah. will, will only be enough to to actually be used in the engine. You won't be storing vast amounts of it. It'll be made as, deep. It's, as it's required. So. This is um, definitely a conversation we would have smoking a big spliff, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I have at some point, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, uh, so, but yeah, no, I, 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 I'd love to know what the next thing. I mean, the obvious thing with an electric motorbike is the sound. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, what, uh, one of the things which attracts me most to a bike is the sound of it. So. Yeah, absolutely. it's nice having it, and nice not having it. I find that's just me. Yeah, so I like getting on electric and it being nice and quiet and just hearing yeah. the wind go past you. But I remember I like uh, again. I think yes, yeah. So yeah. I remember Guy Martin when he was talking about the first time the UA rode in the zero in Isle of Man, and he yeah. said he could he could hear the brake pads rattling in the calipers. He could hear absolutely everything on yeah, the bike. Yeah, you know, no. it's like it's like that would be unnerving for a while before you actually get used to it and understood what. Uh, what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's like the, the electric cars are when you first when you first drive an electric car, 
it's ever so weird because there's no rev, there's no pull off, there's yep. no vibration, up, just nothing. Yeah, there's just nothing at all. And like, like, because however the car is obviously just the suspension set up a lot differently, so you don't feel all the bumps and the bangs, and yep. it just feels like you're just floating, I, honestly. Yeah. Genuinely, oh, yeah. it's nice. mad, nice, nice, but uh. But yeah, you know, yeah, it's just fucking one of them. I just, I, I, I just, think at the moment, in our lifetime, I, I personally think it's still going to be electric, whether we like it or not. I don't. I think it's going to be a problem. I think it's going to be a, a bit of a pain for the transition. If there is a transition, which I don't think there will be anyway, I think um, fueled cars will always be around. But we'll we'll just get hammered for it, yeah. same as everything else. So you see, we'll see. That's yeah. the fortunate thing for me. This is one of the reasons why I bought an electric car. <clears throat> Because I work for the military, there's free there's free charging points down at work. Down at work. Uh, so yeah. that's why taxes are going up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's the incentive, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bloody peaky. Yeah, yeah free. <laughs> Stop plugging your car in. Look, look at it another way, right? And this is going like really out there now. But what is the most useful, most powerful, and and longest lasting type of power that we've got that we know of? on planet earth and then you look into nuclear submarines yeah you see where i'm going there so yeah if we could split up that you know the nuclear power which so they never like, would because they wouldn't make any money on it no yeah. uh, rolls royce have already went to the government and said we could sort the problems out in a minute because like they manufacture all the the nuclear reactors okay. for the submarines and they said why don't we just put like one of the submarine reactors in various locations in the united kingdom and you've got power for however many years yeah and it, hundreds of years yeah, yeah. Like, why why they wouldn't do it i don't know the can't military money bike, there, can they? Well, the military bike out there has just said nuclear bikes yeah that's it no no good for me the amount of our crash <laughs> no, that no good for me <laughs> You'd just be, yeah, 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 you'd knew, you'd know you were on the road, Brian. There'd just be a big cloud yeah. following yeah. you. A big glow, right? Yeah. How? Yeah. <laughs> like the ready break man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but yeah, like I say, I just, I, I think, I think in our love time, I think it's going to be electric. We, we might, we might see the early stages of something else, but yeah, yeah. Do you know what I, mean? I, used, I don't, I don't I, think we'll get anything else. Many years ago, I used to mess around with their paramotors. I don't know if you know what one of those is. A, a wing above your head and an engine on your back. And um, now this was about five or six years ago. They experimented with electric engines for them. Um, obviously, it was going to be a lot uh, quieter. Um, and um, you wouldn't have the problem of running out of fuel, uh, which which happened to me quite a few times when I was up in one of them. But uh, it never, pardon the pun, it never really took off because <laughs> the the weight of the battery yeah. um, to, to give you that torque, that thrust to make you airborne. Uh, once you were airborne, it was okay, but it was to get you off the ground, especially me. You know, I'm a fat little bastard. Um, but so, so to get me off the ground and up into the air, you then have something like 35 minutes flight time compared to three and a half hours with a tank of fuel. Uh, yeah. And they just, they just couldn't make difference. it work. So, That's uh, a massive difference. Yeah, yeah, massive difference. So the back That's of the what... drone board with that. And with a power motor, you have to run about 20 yards to take off to get the wing above your head, give the engine full full, full throttle, and then off you go, you know? I'd have paid money to watch you fucking run that 20 <laughs> 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 Come on, you little bastard! Come on. <laughs> well, well, we'll put it this way: I, I, I used to uh, take off downhill. <laughs> it was a, it was a lot easier, yeah, yeah. yeah but, uh, fair so, fair so, fair no, fair that fair. never really worked. So it'd be interesting to see the future of bikes now. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like I say, you know, I just it, it's it, it's it's strange <laughs> from like when we was younger, and now you look at the bikes that like when our group when our first pa pass my test like the zx6r yeah and and the cbr 600 r are now you look at them and yeah. you look at the bikes now that have got all the wings and yeah the aerodynamics and the carbon and and everything do you know what i mean and you're just like yeah, yeah. wow wow do you know what i yeah. mean yeah. even when <clears> i race that you know the super stock 600s 
you know, we had no traction control. No, we couldn't have anything. Yeah. No wheelie control. Nothing at all. You know, when you pulled off, it was off your, off the, off your clutch. You, you know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. but ne- nowadays it's just, yeah. it's. I really like watching, like the Moto GMs, GP and stuff like that. And you know, if I was in charge, I'd, I wouldn't have restrictions. I'd go, fill your boots. See how fast you can fucking go around that track. Yeah. I have what you yeah. use. Uh-huh. Fucking crack on. A crack bit like on. the autobahn. Yeah, <laughs> just get good for it, man. Just put it off you. Because yeah, yeah. Deca- some of the Ducatis are working with the Formula One now in the yeah. air tunnels and all this lot like and you know, and it's an, it, it, it's only the um, the Moto GP um um basically the top bosses that were keeping a restriction on it. Yeah, and I'm just like <clears throat> fill your boots. Yeah, you'll, you'll you look at you can look at even car companies now. Look, just say for example a petrol car. Two liter petrol car is now a one point six by turbocharger. Mm. It's the exact same power output, but it's a smaller yeah. engine, so that they're, they're falling within the Euro five or six or whatever it is just now. Even like a one point six is now one point one with a, a turbo or a one liter with a turbo. Yeah, I mean, yeah. one of the one of the best three cylinder engines that was ever made was made by Volkswagen, mm. and it was on the back of uh, the Bugatti Veyron. Because they basically started off with three cylinders to prove the the power output that they needed for three cylinders would be good enough, and then they went to six, then went to uh, nine, then went to twelve to to get the V twelve or the W twelve. Sorry for the um, for the the Veyron. So that's where the best three cylinder engine comes from. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's strange. And what he, I mean, Steve, the military boy, he works with drones over in in Canada now that's that's kind of his job it's just interesting for him to say now that that you know their drones can last hours and hours and hours yet you know uh, one of our drones for example like my drone I'll get probably 30 minutes 24 yeah. 30 minutes max out the battery yeah. do you know what I mean so what's the yeah. difference there what's I, I don't know if Stevie can say what it's how it lasts longer and for what reason so something about jet a what, what's that moose power <laughs> <Moose power. laughs> I uh, they found them with the bats. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but uh, but yeah, you know, it's it's. I mean, I, uh, you yeah, know, what Sandy did you say? So it's all down to weight. It's not with the military ones, it eh? because like some of the military ones they have, and them the med solely just if if I don't know if you've seen the Ukraine war with some of the drones just just literally flying into the fucking tanks and blowing the tanks up, yeah. Yeah. and they're just 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 full of. Just full of fuel, basically. We're well, not full of fuels, but they've got fuel on them. and just fucking fly into them. But, yeah. but like I say, you know, we'll never ever see probably another war, a ground war, that we've seen like in Afghan, Iraq, and places like that. No, no it'll all oh, be yeah. the, ne- the <clears> next <throat> big one that happens will be, um, it'll it'll be like a cyber cyber attack. Yeah. The next big one will. That's right. Yeah. Get out for conventional engines, mate. All right. Yeah. Did, did, did any of you ever see the, the yeah. interview with Elon Musk when he was asked about how you uh, is it possible to weaponize a, a drone? And he said, "I he said because all you would do is take the face recognition technology you've got in an iPhone, put it into a drone, tell the drone exactly what face you want to target, and <laughs> let let the drone work its way around an office to to find it." And That's it was nuts. quite, quite, quite blunt about it, you know. It's like, well, yeah. I mean, when you think about it, that technology is pretty much there, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Of course yeah, it is. they just well, have to, yeah, they, they just have to make it work in terms of uh, distance. Yeah. Well, they're, they're using technology now, of course, from a friend of mine. Um, even if we, we all, most of us have got smartphones, right? You can turn that off, and they can still listen to you. You could turn that off, and they could still yeah. listen to you. How many times does that happen, though? Well, with the Alexa and uh, the ads and everything you start getting on your phone, uh, it's unbelievable how it happens. Uh, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And yeah. you, you, if they, if they can, well, we do it on YouTube. We search certain things yeah. to push it into the right direction. So when we make a a video, it's usually relevant to what's highly scoring on youtube do you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. like a 13 like the gs 1300 or the 900 or whatever or whatever do you know what i mean nine times out of ten if you make a video at a certain point about a new bike coming out then it's going to yeah. do well yeah and yeah. you know that yourself so and that's all i'm doing i'm using that technology already to say yeah. right when it, we, we can we can bottleneck this and realize what they're doing 
Did, yeah. did you ever see the documentary that Panorama did about Amazon? No. Am Amazon are one of the biggest harvesters of information in the world. Basically, like, every time you do a search or whatever, but one mm -hmm. of the biggest things, and, and it's a thing I'll never have anywhere near my house, and that's a ring doorbell. And that is basically because um, I saw part of the Panorama documentary where a guy was leaning over the fence, admiring his neighbour's lawn, and he was asking him what lawnmower he had. And the first time he went back onto his computer in the house, that lawnmower was on his <laughs> Google search. And I'm like, yeah. no, nah, no, nah, not for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Pornhub fucking picked that up as quick. Though. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Have you ever have you ever put it to the test with the Alexa? I mean, um, for instance, just before this Christmas, I was speaking in the kitchen um, to my eldest son, who's got an interest in motorbikes, and, uh, and normally I treat myself to something at christmas a little present for myself you know and this year it was um a, a new uh, motorcycle helmet so i was talking about helmets and different ones and everything <laughs> literally within a half an hour on me facebook feed every everywhere yeah um uh, i was getting bombarded with adverts for helmets from the likes of fc moto that website mm -hmm. and the yeah. other one louis.ie i don't know that, that, I know well, dot I never heard of that one um, but I was getting bombarded, um, so I ended up buying a motorcycle helmet, funny enough. Yeah. But uh, we, we, we put it to the test in our kitchen last year when we were aware this was sort of happening and how weird is this? Um, so we started talking, uh, my wife and I, um, about uh, we chose a colour and we chose a, 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 an item and it was a red dress uh, just to see, just to put it to the test bombarded with items for dresses funny enough red ones so now i've got a beautiful collection of red dresses <laughs> <in my life. laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting for the opportunity to wear one you know? otherwise it's a completely futile exercise <laughs> yeah. yeah but but like like you say mate it's just uh it's just mad eh, to, how, how things get picked up on so easily yeah. and, yeah, and yeah. How, how kind of probably how much we don't know we're in the dark yeah. about absolutely 99.9 percent .9 of the stuff yeah, we yeah. ain't got a clue about yeah it, but, uh, it's last sort of 10 years it's really really taken off isn't it the ai is coming in now that seems yeah, to have, yeah. it's felt like it's come overnight isn't it you know and it's uh yeah. it's gonna affect everything you know yeah, mm. uh, yeah. Mm. It is. Uh, that is the next big thing um uh, uh, my lad uh, is in college at the moment doing cyber security so between cyber security, which is obviously going to combat AI, uh, uh, that I think they're the two biggest things ahead of us um, again yeah. in our lifetime. Yeah, it's going to be massive. Yeah, did, massive. Did, it's going to be the ever, new internet. Did you ever hear what happened when Google switched two uh, AI engines on beside each other? No, they had to switch them back off within an hour because they started really? communicating in a language in a language that nobody knew. Oh my God, that is, so, that is worrying. Terrifying. That was that what made the IBR festival talking to Steve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't understand a word. <laughs> I got the hello bit and the goodbye. But that was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm look, looking, for, looking forward to this year at the IBR festival. I really am. I, think I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Really Are sure. you all going, yeah? Yeah, no, I am. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Zedai. Yeah, no, yeah. But uh, if, I don't know. If you, obviously, you, we we all get the emails about the IBR festival. But I read one to that. Um, I don't know if it's today or yesterday. That if you do the VIP Thursday night, yeah, um, you're getting put in this like tented area, and then after that, nobody else is allowed in that tented area. Everybody else will go to a different side. So if oh, you right. once you mean that kind of VIP tented yeah. area that's you for the weekend nobody else is allowed in that area so if you're having like i am i'm going to be meeting like um uh, uh graham and um jdm's coming down pardon me jdm's coming down as well mm. um so we're gonna to have to we're gonna to have to move out of that tented area by the looks of it or just meet up as and when but i think that's a i think that's a good idea to yeah. to, to kind of get us in it kind of gives you a bit more exclusivity then you ain't got to keep moving you know what i mean mm -hmm. do the thursday night then move for the friday at least I there know, you, can, yeah, you can get yeah. set up thursday and then friday you can literally have all day on the tracks because that's what i'm looking at doing this year so the friday i'm looking at doing the trails 
and then Saturday and Sunday, probably just going to do a trail of a morning. And then, yeah. like I did do this year, is go and watch the, the, the guest speakers and, and have yeah. a walk around, see if I can collar anybody. Like David. Last, la, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> la, la, last year, I rode there on the bike uh, from Ireland, um, and I didn't even make a video. I didn't even take a camera, let alone not make a video. I just went there and had an incredible weekend off. I didn't do any of the trails. I didn't even test ride a bike. I had the most incredible time. Uh, it was one of the, if not the best organized event I've ever been to, uh, actually. Um, I, I was so impressed with everything, the way it was run. But this year, I have one thing on the agenda, um, and that's to ride the new Africa Twin, the Adventure Sports. Um, so I'd love to take that out for a uh, for a little spin, if it's a possibility. I think it will be. Yeah. Um, it, it oh, yeah. Organized ride out, but I'd love to test ride that. I'm I'm still on the quest to replace the GS, you know. So even though I yeah. love the GS, I'm back. I'm back in love with the GS again. Might not be in love with the BMW dealer, but I'm back in love with the GS again. I, I do think that's <laughs> the case. Though. I've had this. I've had this. With, with, sorry, Steve. I've had this with a, with a few people though. I mean, like more more one in Wolverhampton. I'll get on. Fantastic with them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And and everybody I speak to about that dealership, them. The more sound, the more yeah. good vibes, and then you go down the road into Worcester, literally yeah. not even sixty mile away, and there's people hating and yeah. literally mm. handing the bikes back. You deal with that because I doing it no more. You, you mm. deal with it, and you're just like, I'm really shocked at how, how kind of it's, the, it's the such a contrast. Yeah, 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 that's the word contrast. The the, the the contrast between a good dealership and a shit dealership, yeah. and and, mm. and it's the same dealership. It's it's still BMW. Yeah, but yeah, just yeah. Like... Uh, so I, yeah. I bought my I bought my last two bikes from the same dealership. It was the AMR motorcycles. Um, there's a, a motorbike shop up here called MCS Motorcycles. I don't know if anyone's aware of it. No. Um, they're they're like a, a Yamaha dealership uh, predominantly, but the AMR Motorcycles and MCS were part of the, the same dealership and they, they broke away. So I bought my last two bikes from AMR and I had nothing but great experiences with them. And it was on the run up to COVID. I happened to, I, I just, for whatever reason, my MOT was just about to lapse and I forgot all about it. So I, I messaged Lynn, who, who was uh, ran the front desk at the, the, the shop, and I said, Lynn, my, my MOT is just about to run out. Any chance you could uh, sort me out? And the reply I got back was, phone the shop. And I've oh. never been back. Now, no. I've, I've test ridden bikes. I've taken bikes out that they've asked me to put miles on. You don't do that to, to just nobody, do you know what I mean? It's like uh, mm. I've done so much for them, and like we had that. That's such a good relationship. As I so, uh, as I say, I bought a bike from them. I sold it back to them. Bought another bike, and and I thought, well, this will be a relationship that will go on and on. But no, that yeah. one experience, phone the shop. It's like after everything, that's yeah. that's yeah. Sad that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm quite fortunate with my BMW dealership because, like, I've done. I'll film stuff that they put on their website, even though yeah. I've not, you know, and, and I've just said, and they've gone, oh, what you, I don't want nothing. All I want yeah. is a fiver for a fiver. That's all I want. Yeah. When, when it's my turn to have a fiver, you do me a fiver. That's all I'm after. So, you know, and like like I say, I've, I've done it at the shop because now they've, they've gone over from one, um, like not, not motor ad, but they've gone from one, firm to another firm who's big firms kind of took over and they've changed yeah. all the uh the signage at the top so like i've said to them like we're just talking i said yeah i could get some drone footage of that and then coming back down and i goes if you open the door and i'll fly through the door as if you're going as if you, yeah. you come down and you're walking through the shop and i was like can you do that i was like yeah of course right. okay, cool. of course I like, <laughs> <laughs> i'm a naval aviator i'm like a top gun you know what i mean <laughs> I, might, I, I might crash when i'm in there in a few of your bikes but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'll definitely, definitely get through the front door but, uh, yeah. but yeah but then like I, I just flew it down got, got zoomed out dropped it down and then went through the door i did a bit of editing give it um it was only like i don't know Probably 10 seconds, 11 seconds, give it all. And I was like, fucking, that's brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. you know? and then I was like, right, the sound. So when I need a favor, yeah. I, you know what I mean? I, I just want a favor back. That's all I want. And to be fair, like when I've tested well, the, the, the 900 and the 1300, they've kind of gone sound. I for uh, give and take it for a, a morning or an afternoon completely. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. the best one is an afternoon because I can, I don't got to get back until the shop 
the workshop shuts, which is seven o'clock. So yeah. the shop shuts at seven, but all the boys go into the workshop. So he's like, get back at seven, that's seven. So, you know, um, speaking, have, have you seen how close the, the BMW 900 GS is compared to the Vosges uh, bike 900? Yeah. Yeah. Very close. Same, yeah. pretty much the same engine, isn't it? Yeah. Different electrics, yeah. to my knowledge. Yeah. But it's, was it seven grand less, is it? Seven grand like less. Yeah, yeah. Six grand, I mean, to be, to be fair, that that 900, uh, when I went back, if I'm being honest, I was going to do a deal. Mm. I'd, I'd got a figure in my head. Um, and when I when I went back and it was sold, I was absolutely gutted. But mm. I would have I would have done a deal there and then for that 900 because it was fucking brilliant. It, it, yeah. it was just the bike the kind of a bit like the GS. I sat on my GS. I tested loads of bike. I sat on my GS and I was like, this is a bit of me. I fucking like this, you know what I mean? And you know, you look at not being bad, but you look at the triumphs and stuff like that. That's like the Tigers and and um the other off-road bikes, the KTMs and stuff like that. The KTM was too, way too tall for me, way, way too tall for me. And I just I think it wanted to know what it was. It wanted to be really good on road, really good off-road, really good track bike, really good to uh, I know and what you mean. In, in, in amongst it, it's kind of got fucking lost. Um but now I just think like I sat on that that BM and I was like I'm comfortable here. This mm. is this is this is me. And what that's did you like about the 900 bit. over the? Uh, what did you like about the 900 over your GS? How light it was, how nimble it was, without without having the uh, cantilever suspension at the front because it's just got sh um, um, shower shocks. Yeah, it was a lot lighter. It was a lot more responsive. Yeah, yeah. And it just felt really comfortable. It stood up. I felt like I was perfect it, the bar rises that was on it was absolutely perfect and i just they feel um i don't feel worried kind of thing like on my gs sometimes i take it off out a little bit and i'm fucking really tentative because i know that if i drop it it's fucking big weight to pick up yeah, where yeah. with that because i felt how light it was i was like oh, it wouldn't really bother me if i drop this because i could pick this up myself right. where i've dropped the gs in the past and i've had to, fucking tech two people or it took myself i've had to go back about 10 days later to pick the spleen up you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is if you drop a gs as well 1250 and you hit those cam covers they're 1200 quid each yeah to replace Jesus, i know you yeah. know and they, they are the first things that you hit unless you've got the guards yeah so it's, it's yeah, an expensive got, drop even the guards my mate got the guards on his when he dropped his the guard come off so we dropped the bike on the shale as, as he's obviously because we're moving so the initial drop knocked the guard off because it's only clipped on yeah it's only bolted yeah. on it's only clipped on yeah. so the first yeah. initial bang knocked the guard off and mm. then the rest of the shale basically <laughs> took about i don't know fucking half a mil off the top of the fucking end off the side yeah. of the engine oh, oh, horrible. So, horrible. you know and I'm, I'm just like them them guards are fantastic yeah, but yeah. as soon as you crash them it's chocolate fire god i <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. yeah it, the, the initial the initial bang it saved but it tied on nothing else so is yeah. it just is it just flexion that holds it on is it what is it does it clip like on clip. To... yes it's like a d-ring clip that you just clip on right so so yeah. it, it the impact if you hit it on the side is isn't isn't too bad but if you're going along and it's kind of pushes it off yeah right. then it will just unclip and off it pops yeah my I would have three. I would have three M tape everywhere on. <laughs> yeah. Just to hold on. <laughs> Nine well, times. Yeah. Was, 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 well, when he bought when he bought them, I said to him, I said, if I was you, because he's, you know, this is awful a fucking lot. I've crashed a, a fucking lot. So I said to him, I said, if that was me, I said, I'd have drilled, I'd have drilled all of them and just cable tied them on. Yeah. If you're doing off right. road, I ain't bothered yeah. about the look of my bike. I prefer my bike yeah. to be to look a bag of shit. And to ride it to its potential rather than having yeah, yeah. a bike yeah. that looks absolutely stunning and you ride him around like a fucking learner. Do you know what I mean? That's just my opinion. Yeah. But yeah. And, and that's what I said to him. I said, Mate, we're going off road. You can, we we're both gonna fall off at some stage. We're both gonna yeah. fall off. So what's your main what's your main bike, Brian? My GS. I've only got my GS. All right, okay. So I'm, uh, lo I'm looking there at a second bike. And what do you fancy? I really fancy the Vogue 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good looking. Really right. good bikes. I, I absolutely. I couldn't. I couldn't get on one at the ABO festival, but I've yeah. watched. Like, um, you got on one, don't you, Steve? 
Oh yeah, I've been on. Yeah, yeah, I've been yeah, on, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. There's, there's quite a few I've watched of, and all the reviews I've done, they've all been really complimentary. And mm, yeah. like, I'll, I'll te- I watch one guy, and uh, yeah, and he had a small channel, but he was the, the way he described it, he was just like, right, you buy a CRF 450 or a 300 or a 350 or a 250. It's yeah. just you've got to add this, 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 and this. Yeah. Straight off the bat, it says now on this Volvo 300, you've got you've already got a headlight. You've already got a clock, a dial. It says so. You've got your revs. You've got your gear indicator. You've got your fuel indicator. Straight mm. off the bat. So, and I was the just suspension's like, a lot less um, spongy as well. You know, on, mm. on a CRF, it, it floats along over the bumps. Yeah. but it doesn't really feel like you've got a lot of poke. But the Volvo's got more poke and suspension set up for a bit yeah. more fun. I mean, I mean, with suspension, obviously, I used to race, so you could ju- you could change the suspension with just your oil. It might sound yeah. Fast. You change your oil, and you can you can you ain't got to do nothing with your springs. You ain't got to change your springs. You can change your, the suspension setup with just your oil. You know, if you want to get to like a nine or a nine point five front spring, then you'll notice mm. a difference straight away. But mm. you know, you, you can't you, you you're realming into you're going into different realms then and changing. Stuff but that's and, the thing, isn't it? You, you want to buy something out the box and it work. And for under four grand, you can get a Vos three hundred rally, and it works on the road or off road. It, it's spot on. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Like everybody who's I've watched, they've all been really complimentary. Uh, you, yeah. You've had you've had a few. I've, I've seen a few that they've got on, and they've not slagged it off, but they've said, "Oh, you can tell it's cheap. You know why it's cheap, and all the rest of it." But at the end of the day, it's three thousand seven hundred quid for a bike, yeah. brand new bike on the road. Yeah, and, and the important point to me. And it's that old thing as well. If you if you're only sort of paying that, you don't mind thrashing it a bit. You don't mind having the odd fall or a uh, uh, tumble, you know, rather than doing it on your GS. You know, that's how I felt when when I got the CRF, the the three hundred um last year i went everywhere or two years ago i went everywhere on that bike because i didn't give a shite and i went out in the snow on it i went out uh, in the rain all sorts of weathers where i would never ever venture on another bike uh, mm, and you know yeah. and you know what um i only ever came off at once and that was in one of my fields because it was so bloody muddy uh, the tires on it were shite <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing i didn't like about that bike oh and fifth gear waste of time uh, it was the only thing yeah. i didn't like about the bike but yeah what a cracking little bike that was and i really miss it and um, i had a bit of a clear out before christmas and i just got rid of bikes i wasn't riding i don't know i just uh, i have these epiphanies you know wake up one morning and think right that's it uh, and uh, and i sort of act on it a little bit too hastily really um uh, i've been like that all my life but now of course i'm thinking oh shit i wish i'd still that. Uh, to, so, to be honest i think uh, i was on about this with um mark from leeds a couple of a couple of weeks ago because it, it he was the same and i said to him i said you know when i've been riding bikes obviously years and years and years but i ride i, t- I passed my test and all i wanted to do was ride fast that's all i wanted to do so yeah. i was riding like a dickhead everywhere and it was like i took with these lads it was like come on a track day and i was like what's a track day never heard of it mm. went on a track day seen these lads who was racers i want to be a racer i want to start racing yeah, so yeah. i went then to to being the best or attempted to be the best person on track so i could then move up into racing and kind of progress that way and then it's just like with youtube you know i started a channel years and years ago when with when i was doing track days and racing and i had a little gopro just on the front nothing else no no music nothing at all just just the racing and all track days and stuff like that which is brilliant but but now like i do things now and i'm like I jumped straight in, so I'm like, like when I got rid of all the GoPros, I watched, I watched Dave down there below me, you know, on about the DJI. I had a bit of a shit time with GoPros, so I was just like, right, when the GoPro 12 never turned up, and GoPro said to me that I was lying, and they never turned up, even though I had a, 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 an opening video with the box on YouTube, and there's two <laughs> fire extinguishers. It's very the- funny that. <laughs> oh <my laughs> yeah. God right so and i sent him the link for the video and i was like nah we don't think that's us i went it's i've got a fucking letter here i, I pulled the letter out from gopro saying i've got i've got the the gopro 12 and the media mod and what i had was two fire extinguishers that's what i had that's and unbelievable then, and then and then in the end so i just went i had a proper tantrum i was like oh. right so i got rid of everything it, within it was i was like everything's on ebay i'm getting rid of everything watched started looking at dji seen what you've done with your dji and, and and now i'm just like right unless you change from gopro you will realize how shit gopro am 
yeah, compared yeah. to other cameras. There's other cameras there that are fucking far superior than yeah. GoPro in in terms of footage. Uh, I'm just starting to now shooting um, ten bit um, monologue, the D D log. So I'm just yeah. I'm just starting to learn how to color grade and, and everything like that. properly yeah. and, and yeah. try and look at the different looks that people yeah. have got and it's do a it. fantastic it's a fantastic world uh, and you know you've just hit on something there peaky because i really think um whilst i think the market is saturated with us boys now in a tiny little corner of the internet you know um i think what will set people's channels apart is by giving your own footage that different look uh, yeah. and if you're experimenting with looks uh lots beg your pardon and stuff like that i mean uh, 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 just check out uh, Freddie Dobbs now. I know he. Freddie Dobbs, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. So he's a he's a vlogger. He loves his bikes, um, but he's a, he's he's more of a travel enthusiast as well. But he tells a great story. But his videos are so well done. He's got a girlfriend called Monica um, who does most of the filming for him. But they color grade the footage and they make it sort of. Uh, they give it a really nice look, uh, like a, a vintage, vintage style. look. Yeah. Uh, and, and it, re it really stands out, you know. And I think the people, the viewer at home, they know the difference now, um, you know, between something well shot, well produced, and something just cobbled together um, uh, from mm. a chin cap. A bit like mine. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'll say it before right, you yeah. notice <laughs> yeah. but I, think, I, I think that's what will uh, separate the boys from the men eventually, you know, because uh, there, there's a lot of people, uh, everybody sees, um, actually, uh, Andy's video was quite interesting, the missing flyers uh, uh, a few months back about how much money he earns from YouTube, yeah. because everybody sees YouTube as a way of making maybe a, a few quid, you know, yeah. uh, uh, certainly in um, our tiny little part of it, you know. Um, and anybody with a motorbike seems to be um, uh, putting the camera on the front of the helmet now for themselves. And then obviously the next step, natural step, is to maybe look into uh, doing a YouTube channel. So, um, mm. uh, but, but somebody it's quite else... Go on, Steve. Sorry, mate. Somebody else who's got a, a good channel with good color grading is Uncle yeah. Longbeard. Uncle he's Longbeard, got about 20 yeah. episodes now. I'll and his color down. grading is amazing. He, he does a lot mm. of um, jump cuts on his on his videos, but he's a professional photographer, but I, I don't know how he does it. I mean, for me personally, um, I don't really want to go down the road of color grade. And I know we've spoken about this, Brian. Yeah, it, It's not for me. I just want to take out the camera, bung it in. There's enough yeah. to do anyway without messing around with colors. Exactly. And, uh, exactly. Cause I don't really know what I'm looking at. Green is green to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, I'll just leave it, keep it simple really. But you yeah, long to... it's got it sussed. You want to try looking with both your eyes open instead of just the one? <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> no. No, I've, but, color, I've color graded the background here. Yeah. Yeah, I've put a bit of green in there, you see. Yeah, there you go. You've even got I a thought it was red. Up. That's where I'm going wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, but it's like, like, like for me, like I'm really now, uh, a couple of, well, probably a couple of months ago, I was watching, uh, he's, he's in the side chat now, Mouth of Craig. I watch I watch a lot of Craig stuff going back, so I look at his editing and I'm like, I need to, I want to be different than everybody else. I want to try and stand out from other people, other channels, and and kind of like like Dave said, look a little bit different, and yeah. and, and and then you're gonna get, like I say, hopefully over time you'll get more subscribers, more views, and and start growing, you know. A, a, a bit a bit of a base then and that you can work from but it's interesting to like we're dive on about the missing and flow there so you know it, it, the, the the thing is he's quite he's got a bit of cash anyway behind him already do you know what i mean so the little bit you know he's made off youtube it's probably a big deal for other people if they could get them views on 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 just a normal channel and a normal working blog that's probably a big thing yeah. Probably a large amount of money, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh... And when you reach that sort of stage, I mean, for example, I've been able to do a lot with my channel because I'm self-employed. I can kind of pick and choose when I work. So at the moment, during the winter, I'm working like hell on the day job, but it frees up time in the summer then. So it gives you more time to make videos. Yeah. But if you're doing a regular nine to five job, it's very, very difficult Yeah, you know, to be able to do all of that, you know, all in one hit, so... Mm. But yeah, I mean, it, does, it does help being self-employed. 
Yeah, I mean, at the minute for me, like I say, I work for the military. So for me, it's out too bad because the, the people I work with, I served with. So if I want an afternoon off, I can have an afternoon off kind of thing. If something falls on my, you know, like a like the the, the, the 900 or the 1300, and the, oh, you could take it out this afternoon if you want, I can just go kind of shoot off for a couple of hours. And then yeah. they're all right with that kind of thing. So, um, but on the flip side of that, that, that coin now, obviously with what's going on, currently in the world i'm absolutely yeah. rushed off my feet at the moment because um there's a lot of kick going over to poland at the moment because i think that they're, they're kind of thinking that's the next step or next stage is going to be techie but yeah. um, mm. that's just I, that's my thoughts i um uh, just to finish off on the old color grade and uh, um i uh, you know i haven't got time like 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 any of us um when you've done your video and you're putting it all together i mean the last thing i want to do then is to start messing around with the colors and then it's just another uh, cog in the wheel i really don't need so uh, yeah. but what i do do like on my, on my bigger videos like the causeway coastal route last year um the, that northern ireland um the antrim coastline stuff like that where i go off for a few days and make two or three videos about it i will give it a look uh, and I'll shoot it in uh, D log M and then probably color grade it and everything. And especially if I'm uh, taking the drone as well. Um, uh, so obviously the drone um, has the same color science as all of the Osmo yeah, action cameras as now because it's all made by DJI. Uh, and uh, that is fantastic. So you just pick your one lot and put it on all of your footage, your Osmos, your drone, everything, you know, and I've, I've got the pocket three camera as well. I actually, I'm, live streaming to you on the pocket three camera now yeah, you have yeah. One mm. now, Ryan. yeah yeah no uh, no i got one yeah i'm waiting for you to sell yours <laughs> all right that's good <laughs> and that's why it's following right, me yeah. head around because it's face tracking me and everything i uh, thought you were on the cruise honestly yeah. i honestly don't do the color grading or anything like that um it's uh, gopro i've still got just now the hero nine i've got a dji yeah. action that I, I, I use that for my forward facing but yeah. The way I make my channel unique is, is my pink G-strings when I'm doing my review <laughs> videos and stuff like that. That tends to work for me. Membership <laughs> is so worth the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can't, you can't, oh, but that's what I'm saying. Like, so now I'm, I'm going back to the, the colour grading, but that's what I'm looking at now. So I'm looking at people who have done LUTs and, and you can download LUTs that you can yeah. see what if it works or if it's a good colour. I mean, I've, I've actually done one because I use Phil Morris, so I've actually made one myself. And at the minute, I, I kind of it took me probably a, probably a day to to do it to find the the correct sharpness and the color grading with the blues and the greens, and then you do all the curves and all the fucking rest of it. But it took me a day. But yeah. I've, at the minute, I've not found one at the moment that makes it look as realistic as what mine does because what i found with the gopro is sometimes it just looked really cartoony really the grass was fucking way too green and the sky was just fucking blue and you're like dynamic well, that is well, that's like, well, I, like that. yeah. well, I like that yeah you know what i mean but, mm -hmm. but you know it's just, it's just one of them i just I, you want to shoot it how you see it as it's as he speech, you fucking are nice, don't you? That's well, that's what I want. I don't See, want I'm still a GoPro I'm man, as, as most of you. Sorry, yeah, I'm still a GoPro man, mm. and I know, I know, I, I have considered moving over. But to be fair, my GoPro nine has hardly given me any trouble. Yeah, I haven't had any trouble from me. No, well, uh, uh, if, 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 if it works, works for you, over. if it works for yeah. you, don't don't move. Um, uh, Bruce Teapot One, he's the same, um, and he has said numerous times, "Well, why should I change? Because my GoPros uh, are working, you know. So as long as they are working, yeah." yeah. On. The, funny, the thing uh, like funny enough, my GoPro Nine was absolutely bang on as well. It was the yeah. ten, the eleven, and the twelve. Well, I didn't yeah. go to the twelve because I vowed never ever to buy. I've heard the twelve has been pretty good oh. actually. Yeah. Well, the the ten and the eleven were just appalling. You know, I, I, I made a documentary. This was terrible. I made a, a, a documentary for RTE Television over here. We spent a year um, following people sea swimming. It was actually called mm -hmm. Vitamin C. Um, a clever title, I thought. And and a lot of that footage was underwater footage. And because of the nature of the program, it was a lot of people mm -hmm. nearing the end of life who had just explored sea swimming and the benefits they were getting from sea swimming. Mm -hmm. And we lost the footage. We were losing the oh. footage whilst I was un under. And you can't ask these people to go and do it again, you know. And that was yeah. it for me. Um, and, of course, you're right to go pro. 
that customer support is absolutely shocking. Don't give a shit. Yeah. Don't give a shit, you know. Uh, and I wasn't right in saying, listen, what can you do about this? Obviously, there's nothing they can do, but uh, you just get the usual copy and paste answer back from GoPro to do with anything, really. Did you format your cards? Did you make sure yeah. your battery was charged? Correct? No. Oh, Jesus, yeah. don't talk to me, you know. Um, yeah. Dave, in your game, mate, my, my brother's a filmographer, and if something happens like that, you try and get double backup for audio and things like that, don't you, yeah. generally speaking? Yeah, but when it must be literally <laughs> devastating when you lose that's your livelihood, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah, I say, you yeah, can't, yeah. it's gone, it's gone, no. it's history, isn't it? No, no, exactly. You just can't recreate that stuff. No, not with people who've got like three weeks left to live and all that sort of stuff, you know. Yeah. It was a, a, a large part of that program, unfortunately. Um, no, I was, uh, we were all devastated, you know, yeah. um, gutted. Um, yeah. And of course, it would have been a lovely keepsake for the families of these people, you know, uh, getting so much pleasure swimming in the sea. Listen, don't get me going about it because, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, I, I, I shed, I, I've shed more than enough tears because of GoPro, and and, and certainly not happy tears. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like I say, for me, for me, I just stopped with GoPro. I'd, I'd had a lot of issues with GoPro. I'd lost foot. I'd, I kept having. I'd either have the footage and no audio, or mm. the audio and a black screen and nothing at all. And I was just like, I was getting there really frustrated. So I ordered mm. the twelve, and then when the twelve didn't come, and I was just like, we think you're lying. And I was like, right. I've done a video. I was on YouTube when I fucking opened the box. Yeah, yeah. How can, how can I lie from that? You just got a GoPro know. stick at the fucking front. How can I lie? Do you know what I mean? And they're just like, no, nah. a bit like you. No, we don't believe you. And I was just like, oh. So in the end, I went to the credit card and I was just like, right, this is what's happened. There's a video. Literally, 48 hours. They got email me back. Yeah, we can see. We'll just, we'll, we'll refund, it, refund it. Yeah. But, but that, like, that, yeah. that's great. So you got your money back. Yeah, yeah, I got my money back, right. but through through the credit card company, it was through them, not through oh, GoPro. Thank God! Oh, you were lucky, man. Yeah, you were lucky. So, so yeah. but uh, but but you know, two it, things yeah. stopped me from. Go on, Sorry, mate. Go on, go on. Two, two things stopped me from DJI. Um, I had the DJI two, uh, which was fantastic. It was a, a groundbreaking thing back in twenty twenty one, no twenty twenty, I think it was. That was absolutely fantastic. One, wasn't it? That's right, little cube yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, and it was absolutely superb. But they could, you just couldn't get the audio on it on a, on a yeah. three point five jack, That's and it was right. absolutely rubbish. And I spent a week, and it was the first time I had a proper press bike. I can't remember what it was now. And I spent a week trying to get it right, and I just could not get it to go. And after that, I said, "That's it. I'm 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 off DJI." So they've got to sort of coax me back in again now. Which oh, is mate, possible. But... Uh, uh, oh, mate, it's worlds apart now. Honest to God, yeah. it, it, it's a it's a different world with DJI now out there. They are market and... leaders. In fact, I don't know if you. I, I'll, I'll be quick telling you this story. I don't know if you remember when uh, GoPro, uh, uh, GoPro and DJI um, um, basically were in cahoots with each other. So when uh, DJI started releasing their first drones, the Phantoms, they they didn't have the technology to make their own cameras. So um, when DJI sold a Phantom drone, you had to then buy a GoPro to go on the underneath of it. And this was for our first two models, the Phantom 1, the Phantom 2. By the, no reach, by, by the time they reached Phantom 3, DJI were making their own cameras. And of course, so much better um, yeah. for underneath the drone. So then, uh, obviously, GoPro sort of took the bull by the horns. So they released a drone and they called it the Karma. You know, I, I, as in karma, just to piss DJI off. Yeah. And of course, they nearly went bust over this uh, stupid exercise because the things kept dropping out the sky. They had to recall them. Um, in fact, if anybody has one of these um, GoPro drones, I, I'd say in years to come, there'll be a collector's item. Um, but I I, I I bet my bottom dollar on it that there's none flying anymore, you know. No. Um, but but I, think, I, I, I think the same is going to happen again now. I think DJI... Have just captured the marketplace they've captured the industry um they've broken into the um broadcast industry as well which is huge so yes. they're not just making consumer products um that they're making serious broadcast products 
and, and to capture that market as well as the consumer market. I mean, I, mm. I, I have to say now. At the same time, if it wasn't for GoPro, none of us would be, would be motor vlogging. No. You know, no. I, they they invented so. these cameras, and it's incredible what they invented. But I, I I'd love to know what goes on at their board meetings because I have this idea that it's just a, a table of sort of twelve surf dudes, you know, who uh, all think that they're, they're better than everybody, and you know, yeah. and what, what what does anybody know out there? I just think they've lost touch with reality of GoPro, yeah. mm. and they yeah. could do with uh, learning a lesson or two especially when it comes to customer service from DJI. Every time yeah. I've written now to DJI, I get some sort of answer anyway. Might not be the answer I want, but they get back to you. Yeah. You see, you see for me, for me, like like now, I've got I've got the two action force. So I've got one looking back. What am I watching? One looking back at me. Hmm. And I've got the, uh, after watching Dave's video, I bought the Mic 2. So now, not only are the cameras fully waterproof, now I've got fucking no wires hanging around my fucking neck and my helmet and all the rest of it, and mm. the battery lasts fucking longer. You know what I mean? You know, you know, you just start looking at yeah. stuff, and I'm like, this is fucking so much fucking easier, so much yeah. better. You could you can plug like you like on on the BMs, you plug the um, <clears throat> the little battery pack in, twenty five minutes, thirty minutes on a bike, the battery's charged eighty percent. Mm. That's that's what I meant to ask you. You know how Brian, you know how you've got the two the two action force. So see when you switch the two of them on, do both of them connect to the mic, or have you only got one of them connecting to the mic? No, I've only got one of them connected to the mic. Can the two of them connect to the mic at the same time though? No, because it's Bluetooth, so you can only have one. Right, so it's only goes through one channel. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, but then, uh, but then if you if you watch my like um like my, like the um. The one I'm pointing out in this weekend, and all my B-roll footage is an action to the little cube. Yeah. All my all my B-roll footage is off there. I don't use, uh, and and that's that's on like a crane stick on on my yeah. handlebars, and that like I say, I just get that for the B-roll. That's all I use it for. I don't use it for nothing else. And it's I've just... only got one camera, which surprises a lot of people. But I've only got yeah. one camera, just my GoPro Nine. That's all I use. Yeah. B-roll and everything. Yeah. That's... Like you, say, like you say, though, you've got to be uh, GoPro. I think they 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 set, they come on the market as the first action camera, and because people constantly use GoPro, like I did, my first action camera was a GoPro. You kind of feel that all these other companies are as good as GoPro because GoPro were the first action camera. Yeah. And then now now I've kind of been my hands been forced to go somewhere else, and I'm like actually. Okay, that's better it, to, mm. to, to be honest it's you know especially with this new upgrade that they've just done so it's a lot sharper yeah. and do you know what i mean so and that that was one of the things that I, I would i would openly say and i've said it before that the straight out the bat the sharpness was a little bit crisper on the gopro than it was in the dji but now on yeah. this new one this new update they've just done mm. it's not and that's it's one of the me. reasons why i went out the other day just just to test it and it's not it's them and they're exactly the same DJI didn't get it right right away either because this is the <laughs> Osmo action and it took a year for them to bring out the Sonovo mic adapter to go with us. Oh, that's the one I had. Yeah, yeah. so you, you couldn't plug anything into this for a year to get audio. You had to wait and it came from a company called Sonovo in China. And it was still crap. Right. And it was rubbish, so yeah, it is. And it's a, a square adapter that goes in with the 3.5 uh, mic. Yeah. But you think where how far we are now, 4K shooting, yeah. wire microphones, wireless, yeah. 10 years ago, it was still 360p, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's unbelievable, isn't it, when you think yeah, about well, it? However, however, I have taken a step back. There is a problem with the Osmo Action 4 and the wireless 2 mic, and I don't know if you found this, Brian, but... Um, I uh, my style of vlog, and I turn the camera on when I've got something to say, or whether or when I want to point something out, rather than leaving the camera on for the whole time. So I can't do that though with my style of vlogging because every time you press the camera and you fire the camera up, it takes about twenty seconds for it to connect to the wireless two mic. And yeah. by the time it connects, I've driven past the feckin' thing I want to talk about. So, um, so I, I, I'm I've written to DJI, they've written back to me. Um, and they've, uh, they've... Oh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Oh. He's got gremlins in the Elon Musk. <laughs> <Wi -Fi. laughs> Look at my new Wi-Fi. 
yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, know what he, I know what he's saying there, though. Um, yeah. But so it takes about 20 seconds for it to reconnect to the Osmo right. action. But that's yeah. one of the. That's one of the. Back again, Dave. Again, mate, Dave. I'm we'll back again. again. Sorry, that was my Wi Fi, was it? Go on, yeah. Go on. What was you saying about the, 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 the mic? I don't know where I was uh, before so, I brought so up ba- there. Basi- basically, you, ju- you were just saying that you'd you'd wrote to you'd wrote to DJI about the mic taking so long to connect to the action four. Yeah, I'm breaking up there, guys, aren't I? That is my Wi-Fi. That's oh, right. We'll we'll carry on for a minute until yeah, Dave yeah. comes yeah. back again. Or, yeah. Or, well, like, yeah. That's one of the reasons why I ended up. I've, I've now bought the remote. Yeah, but the, that may that may be something um, that may be something that they could patch. That when you shut your camera down or put your camera into standby, that the connection between the mic and the, the camera stays intact. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It might be yeah. something as simple as that that they could fix. It's maybe not even a problem that they've considered. That now that's yeah. been brought to their attention, that I'm sure their little boffins are working away at some sort mm. of workaround. I mean, the, the only other thing that I thought, the only other down point I'd say for me is. So when you put the timer on the camera, you can only have it at 30 minutes, so it shuts off after 30 minutes. Now, right. on GoPro, you can have it so it doesn't shut off at all until the battery mm. runs out. So that's yeah. what I'd prefer. I'd prefer to have it not 30 minutes and just let it stop on until the battery oh, runs out. Oh, that's a pain. You can't yeah. set it to any I'm longer back, then. Know, it's just your maximum run on it, is it? Yeah, yeah. So 30 minutes is the maximum time that the, the, oh, the camera's on for. So that was yeah. that's the only thing. That, that is the only down point. But... S- saying that. Is that is that on the Osmo Action Four, Brian? You're saying it's only yeah, yeah. thirty minutes. Yeah, it's only thirty minutes. Oh well, I didn't know that. Sorry, I'm back with you. My wife, thank God for that. My wife, I uh, 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 switched to the to the old Wi-Fi, um, so it oh, wasn't no. anything to do with the most thing. Oh, I'd say no. Elon sweating watching this. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his, his checkbook yeah. looking in the, yeah, in the yeah. top of it already. Fuck. <laughs> so, uh, so sorry. Uh, well, going back to what I was saying about the wireless two mic dropping out and everything. So I've taken a few steps backward. Uh, and in fairness, a few people have said, "Listen, all this technology is great, but what happens, you know, if you've got no spare cash or um, blah blah blah?" And, and it's a very good point. So I bought the. Um, the Osmo again, the DJI Lav mic, uh, very cheap, something like forty-five euro, uh, and I'm using that now with the mic adapter on the side of the Osmo Action Four. It's unbelievable. So, mm. and in fact, the trip I'm doing next week around the Northumberland 250, um, I'm using that configuration. Um, just old school, old school. So, yeah, uh, but, you know what. I'm the but, same. But, I don't like the thought of having something else wireless that you have to think about batteries. Well, so when, when, just plug it in, job done. When you're on a trip, um, it's another set of batteries you have to think about charging. Um, yeah. Now, um, the the, re- the other reason I'm doing this as well is because I'm going to be recording comms. So I'm going to be recording Trev speaking to me. Um, so I've got two mics. Um, so I've one on my earphone inside the helmet and I've got um, one in front of my mouth inside the helmet. And I've bought the splitter cable, which I was out today testing. Works an absolute dream. Uh, but now I'd love to be doing all that wirelessly. And I was coming up with all sorts of different configurations to um, have Trev's voice wirelessly going onto the camera, looking back at me in front of me with the old, um, the, um, the the original DJI wireless mic receiver. Oh, it was just getting so complicated. I thought yeah. this is bonkers. I'm trying to be too clever. So I, yeah, I've just gone old school. Uh, Dave, I'm I'm Dave see like the that. see the microphone you've got for the comms in your ear. Have you have you used a flat mic for that, or have you? Just I have, yeah. yeah, yeah. So- so for that mic, I use the Rode Lav mic because it's yeah. a flat mic, yeah. uh, I, 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 and it's got um, a slightly higher gain over the uh, DJI mic, which is great because it needs to because obviously your um, intercom is lower level than you speaking, so it picks up the just about the correct level as well. Yeah. Um, because obviously, when you're feeding the two mics through a splitter cable, you've only still got one gain control, so you can't you, you can't differentiate mm. between the two. If, yeah. if, if, so, what have you got? Any comms? Have you got any pack talk or anything like that? Uh, no, no, I use the Senna, the inbuilt one. So I'm using oh. my old helmet. Unfortunately, uh, I won't be using the Neotech uh, Three. I'll be using the GTA Two. Um, 
So that has the Senna, the SRL3, is it? Or the SRL2 system, whatever it is. Um, so it's all very compact. There's no wires. It's all wired inside the helmet and whatever else. Uh, yeah. And in yeah. fact, if you stay there, boys. Aha. Uh -huh. That camera's eyesight. <laughs> that's a helmet yeah. shop there, isn't it? How many has he got? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, He's inside the sports bike shop. <laughs> yeah. So that's there's our cable there. You see? Oh, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I've yeah. just got the excess wrapped around the mount at the front, but I will tidy it up. And then um, where am I? I'm, I'm looking at the screen as I'm showing you this. So, uh, and that's the splitter cable which plugs into the uh, adapter on the side. So I've got the, well, you, well, you won't see because uh, the wires are all hidden. But, uh, <coughs> but, but that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Old, nice. old school, old school, but it works an absolute treat. I will tidy this wire up the uh, before I go away um, at the weekend. But uh, I but mean, I'm cool. I'm off to I'm off to Scotland next month. Um, yeah. Me, me and another lad called Jay crazy legs on a bike. So me and him are going up to Scotland. But what I plan on doing is um, linking the. I've got the uh, edge. Well, we both got the edge. So we're going to do the audio on the edge. So Great. Do the audio on the edge and still record, and then yeah. at least then we can sync the sync them up as as and when we need to. That we can. We can Have you do done it. it before? Yeah. Okay. The only problem is when your phone rings. So and, here's one. Uh, here's one for you then. So okay. if you put your phone on um, airplane mode, yeah, it, the the Bluetooth still linked to the pack talk, and nobody can call you. That's right. So then well, when you're riding, obviously you ain't gonna receive any phone calls. Yeah. But for the for the person that's recording the audio, you can you can just solo record the audio. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got an old phone that I'm gonna set up to my pack talk with the app and put that on the bike so that the audio is just going straight to that rather than using my phone, if that yeah, makes very sense. Good. Yeah, very so, good. Uh, so so at least then i've got both the my audio his audio and a, back, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a back a backup audio as well Perfect. Or, uh, <clears throat> dave how do you find the sound when you're going backwards on your triumph weirdly weirdly uh everybody sort of talks in reverse as well and i have to sort of decipher what's being said then so yeah did you like yeah. did you like that that's a good video mate that's yeah, good yeah, it's yeah, good fun yeah. I yeah, so I had something in mind. I just haven't had time to film it. So, yeah. Do you know what I found cool slightly stadium. worrying was the amount of people who said, ah, uh, you nearly got me. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Seriously? <laughs> if I nearly got you, then you're as thick as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Must, be... <laughs> <laughs> Must be a heck of a rider. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's good, it, it went down well that I, sh I should release more of those videos it did it did better than most of my regular videos every weekend yeah. <laughs> oh man it's, yeah, it's but good, to, good to have a bit of fun and every now and then just take oh, yeah. you know do something totally wacky and just don't take yourself too seriously that's it. yeah no, absolutely mate <laughs> too right yeah, yeah. End, up, end up like me if you take yourself too seriously boring <laughs> 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 <clears throat> I did. I did one of my vlogs and I put a uh, fake adverts in it. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even monetized yet, so I don't get adverts. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> I put I, I put a fake I put a fake skip button at the bottom of the screen and everything. And everything. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, wow. That's, That's a really good one, Stuart. That, yeah, that yeah. would be class. You, you imagine how many people are clicking. Fucking skip, <laughs> <then>. <laughs> skip. <laughs> it was ad, it was adverts from a Scottish comedy, and it was like a yeah, jump style, jump style uh, furniture removers, and that it was brilliant. That something. is fun. Oh, that would be class. <laughs> that would be class. Right. You saying about comedy? We got uh, Frankie Boyle coming down to us shortly. Oh man, he's oh, doing man. a gig on Saturday night. I'd love to see him, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, he is. A, he, he, I, I'd love to see him as well. Very funny, like he's yeah. close to yeah. the bone. Eh? He's close to the bone. Yeah, that's what you want in it in comedy. Comedy is close to the yeah. bone. But you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have a now. bloody laugh. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Back in my day, it was all chubby brown. You know. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chubby brown. What about, what about uh, Kevin Bloody Wilson? Kevin Who's Wilson. Yeah. Oh, the Australian oh, boy. Kevin, yeah, Australian. Kevin Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's brilliant. Some of his songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was nice. yeah. And Harry Enfield was a, was a good one back in our day, wasn't he? Oh, he no, I yeah. look back on his yeah. stuff now, still laughing. Definitely. Fantastic. He yeah. wouldn't be allowed to do that now. Not yeah. well, well ahead of his time. Well yeah, ahead of his time. 
Yeah. Did, did you even see um, the Life of Brian? I think it's a, an anniversary tour that they're doing. And they actually asked them if they're going to do the sketch when they're sitting at the Coliseum. And it, it was, I don't know if you remember it from back in Life and Brian, they're sitting in the Coliseum and one, I think it was Eric Idle, identified as a woman and wanted yeah. to have a child. And, and, and the whole sketch was, if we, <laughs> if, we can all, if we can all sit here and accept that that he wants to be a woman and, and, and he should be able to have the, the child if he wants it, but we know that he's a man. And, and this, was, <laughs> this was 35 years ago. And, yeah. and it's, it's happening now. And now they're debating about whether they should be allowed to do it. And I'm like, that, get it. Get it. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder there's a mental health problem because you can't have a laugh anymore, can you? No, 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 you're right. You're right. Right, then, lads, we've been on an hour and a half. Okay, mate. Flowing. That's a Are you going for your dinner now? Are you? Yeah, I'm going for for my chicken curry now. (laughs) 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 Gotta keep the warmth in there. Gotta keep all this warmth in till the summer. So, uh, but yeah, again, it's been. I've, I've enjoyed having it's good uh, having Stu on, Steve on, Dave on. It's been brilliant again. Been, Likewise, yeah. I, I, it's, it's, brilliant it's enough. just great to be part of the conversation this time because I can keep up thanks to Elon yeah. Musk. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right, talking like a Dalek. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll be buying a tap for Max. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if he did, if, 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 if he nicking it and doing his own live streams on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Now there's an idea. Oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'll stick to a Wednesday, but six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock. Six to eight. <laughs> so when, when everybody gets on tomorrow, they're all fucked off and bored. In, in fact, Stuart and Steve are being touched very soon. About- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, Dave, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you watch him throw his stomachs out his pants. I don't know where he's gone. I'm only joking. <laughs> 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 so, Very good. No, but, uh, on, honestly, that's just been it's been uh, as usual. As always, it's, 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 it's always a good it's all, laugh. It's always a good laugh. It, oh, genuinely, yeah. mate. and and yeah, I say this, you know, it's it's nice when you get a, a group of lads together and we can have a bit of a laugh, bit of a giggle, bit of. Yeah informative talk tech talk and we've yeah. we've we've covered a lot tonight do you know what i mean yeah. and you know it's there's, just like being down the pub isn't it yeah there's no <laughs> script. there's no script there's nothing but you know what i mean and that's one of the reasons when i when i ask people to come on that's and that's one of the first things i say you know it, there's none of this scripted we just sit down there there's four lads sat in a boozer having a chat yeah. who've got well, one you sent me a script person. brian i've got it here i don't i don't know where <laughs> I can't write, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, it's good fun. It's always always enough to talk about, and we got more to talk about next time as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I say, if 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 you get if if you do get a Wednesday free and you do want to come on, then genuinely just just fire me a text because sometimes you don't feel like I'm more on my side, like I'm I'm pestering and keep texting people and keep asking and do you know what I mean. So if you do want to ever come on, if you have got a if you know you're coming up and you've got a Wednesday free, if you do want to come on, then just just message me because it's just, it just it just helps me then do you know what i mean yeah i, I gotta keep I don't, I don't feel like i'm pestering but uh yeah, yeah, yeah but course. yeah it's uh it's absolutely fantastic and well, hopefully we'll be seeing each other as well but you wouldn't have me you said you were full up <laughs> <laughs> i got the dates wrong did i yeah he texted me last week like proper beyonce why why am i i'm on name on the list because <laughs> 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 you're on next week <laughs> <laughs> you next week. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sound. I'll do next week then. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I, I even seen the head shake on the text. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. Uh, I tell so, you what, lads, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the ABR for a beer. 100. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't really drink hard, though, but um, we can like proper let rip then. Yeah, 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 we will indeed. Yeah, we yeah. will indeed. Yeah. Right then. Right. So, all right, boys. Good to good to see you again, and uh, lovely to meet you, Stuart, for the first time. Yeah, Hopefully, it won't be the last time. Yet. Um, yeah, uh, uh, we didn't even get talking about your bikes, really. But you're a Triumph man, aren't you? Yeah, I've got a yeah. Triumph Tiger Sport. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. I was checking your channel out the other day, and um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I just got a Triumph Street Triple, first Triumph mm-hmm. I've ever owned. I've ever yeah. owned. I'm so, uh, to- totally devoted to Triumph. Oh, it's uh, great. Yeah. Jeebus. Well, like anyway, that, 
that yeah, yeah exactly steve yeah but that's for the next one that's for the next yeah. one yeah 100 100 all right so, lads, yeah. i'm out of Rachel. here Great to see you yeah, as yeah. usual, if you can all stay safe, keep your family safe, and all do one thing, please, which is smiling. And, and for anybody watching, thanks for tuning in, and yeah. uh, have a great week. Thank you to everybody yeah. in the solo chat as well. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, like I say, you know, I, I, I do put most of the uh, most of the talk and most of the chat up that they have. Um, if there's any questions that come up, I usually put them on. But again, guys, it's been fantastic in the solo chat. Really appreciate it. So, uh, so thank you. Until the next Bye. time, I'll see you soon. Stick in, workers. See you later, guys.